Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So, so excited to have you here. You should definitely consider subscribing and joining our little book community if you have not. But today's video, I'm super excited for. I have so many different booktubers that I just love, love, love. And I have been wanting to see if I could get them to recommend me a book. So I'm gonna be reaching out to them and asking them if they'd be willing to recommend me a book to read. Fingers crossed that someone answered or else this video is going to be a flop, but I'm actually so excited and nervous at the same time. So let's just go ahead. All right, they've all been sent. Now all that we can do is wait. We have received two responses and I'm literally so excited because I love these queens, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. So the first one is from Alexa Ray. Absolutely love her channel. She has the coziest vlogs. I love her energy, her vibe. I don't know her personally, but you can tell that she is literally such a sweet human being. She said she'd be honored to be in my video and I'm like, no, like I'm honored to have you in my video. <laughs> She said that her favorite book is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. She said she talks about it nonstop on her channel. And she said, if you've read that one, I also adore Icebreaker and Brutal Prince. So I have not read Archer's Voice and I do hear her talk about it all the time on her channel. So super excited to read it and I'm very happy I have not read it yet. I have read Icebreaker, I have not read Brutal Prince, but I'm going to do Archer's Voice since that is her first choice and her top Pick. The second one is from the queen, Sarah Caroli. Sarah Caroli was one of the first booktubers that I came across here on YouTube. I absolutely love her videos. I love her vibes, love her recommendations. So super excited that she answered, cause like what? She said she would recommend Before We Were Strangers and I have not read that. So I'm super excited to pick that one up too. And I'm just I'm so excited. Just love this book community. People are so nice and that is just like the best. So I'm here because I'm looking for two of the books that I was recommended, Archer's Voice and Before We Were Strangers. So let's see if we can find them. we left off on I had gotten responses from Alexa and Sarah and I did reach out to one more person this is my good friend here on booktube Shaughnessy I absolutely love Shaughnessy's channel she has the most comforting relaxing videos it literally feels like you're right there with her just reading books exploring she is just such a calm vibe and I absolutely love her videos she actually recommended me something that I already have in my personal library on my physical TBR that I've been wanting to get to and that I have I've started a few pages of so I was really excited that she recommended that because I've been wanting to read it anyway so let's just recap what the recommendations were so the first one this was from Sarah Caroli and it's before we were strangers it's by Renee Carlino and it says a love hate love story it's a misconnection second chance at love hoping it's not too sad but it does sound really good so I'm excited to read this I feel like I really love all of Sarah's recommendations. She has like great recommendations. The second book was recommended to me by Alexa Ray. So this is Archer's Voice. I've heard so much about this book. So many people say this book makes them so emotional, makes them cry. So I'm a little afraid, but at the same time, this is like a super popular book. So I'm happy that I get to pick it up and get to know what it's all about. I have no idea what this is about. Then the third pick, which is from Shaughnessy, this is by the book by Jasmine Guillory. Like I said, I actually did start this book already. I got like a few pages in, like maybe 10 pages, but this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. The female main character works in publishing. The male main character is a writer. The agency has been trying to get him to write this book for the longest and he's just been dragging it out, not doing it. So I believe she's gonna be sent to kind of sort him out. We're gonna have Grumpy Meets Sunshine. Beauty and the Beast retelling is like right up my alley. So I'm excited for this. We're gonna be starting with with Before We Were Strangers. Really excited to hop into this.
Good morning, you guys. Just thought I would give you a little update on where I am and before we were strangers. As you saw last night, I was listening to the audiobook while I cooked. That's how I was able to get through a little bit more, but after that, I didn't pick up the book again for the night. But just wanna update you guys on what's going on in the story so far. So it is dual POV and dual timeline, and our main character is Maddie. He is a career photographer. He's working for National Geographic, but he's also a divorcee, and his wife, who he just recently divorced from, or his ex-wife, I should say, also works at the same place as him. So he's like desperately trying to get sent out on assignment, trying to go anywhere else because she's moving on with her life and he just like does not want to be there for it, which valid, but his boss is not sending him away. So he's stuck where he is and like kind of having to confront his reality and his like current situation. But one day he's getting onto the subway and he sees somebody familiar. And we learn that this is Grace, who's gonna be the female main character of this story. And we kind of get the sense that there's like some history there, a past there, maybe like a past love, like we don't know, but there's something there. Now I'm on page 70, which is chapter eight. And we're for the first time getting Grace's point of view. So that is where we are in this story. And I'll update you guys when I have more to say and when I make a little bit more headway through this, which I plan to do today. I'm just sitting here and I'm super emotional and I just have to update you guys because I literally, like my brain won't stop thinking about before we were strangers. Where did, where did it go? Um, at first I was kind of indifferent. I was like, not too much is happening, but I am a firm believer that you need to get 100 pages into a book before you write it off. So I'm definitely past 100 pages. I'm 176 pages into this now. And the way that I am just in love with Matt, he is a male character written by a female author. You know that feeling you get when you read a book that is just affecting you emotionally? That like heavy feeling? Like that's the feeling that I have right now. I'll come back when I can form better words. Oh my god, what? I want to say that I saw this coming because for a split second I did, but then it like disappeared from my brain. What a plot twist. Good morning, you guys. Okay, I need to update you on what's been going on. So I don't know if I said this before, but I finished Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. I have been reading a lot of books that are much more like realistic, that could really be real life. To make a comparison, like instead of reading fantasy and instead of reading romance, which tends to be a little more fluffier, this book, Normal People, If He Had Been With Me, those books are like a lot more raw and real because you could really imagine them being real stories. So this is exactly falling into that category. It is a beautiful love story. I will say that things that frustrated me about the story was just like the lack of communication. We do have the miscommunication trope in here and it was stressing me out, but I think overall their love story was so, so beautiful. I loved watching it develop. I loved that they were both so artistic and had these passions that they were pursuing. It was like really inspiring to me. Um, but yeah, that's all I'll say about this for now. I'll talk about this a little bit more at the end of this video. I'll give you my rating, my thoughts, but finished it and I absolutely loved it. I picked up Archer's voice after that. I am already on page 168 of this, so I can talk a little bit about it because I'm a little bit into the story. Just off of the back of the story, you know that the female main character is kind of facing some trauma, dealing with some post-traumatic stress disorder, and then the male main character is I decided to bleep this out because I figured it actually could be a spoiler and I didn't know it going into it and I felt like I really enjoyed not knowing that. So I decided to spare you guys and bleep that out. They are gonna be the two people that are at the center of this story. I think it's so, so interesting seeing this kind of like dynamic. I'm really enjoying these two characters. I like them a lot and I'm really, really excited to see where this story is gonna go. I know a lot of people have cried reading this and I don't know why yet, which kind of makes me nervous, but I will share my reaction if it does make me cry.
finished Archer's voice and sorry if you can hear my dishwasher in the background but all that I can say is what an emotional roller coaster that was a roller coaster but it was very very good I don't know what this is I don't know I'm gonna sleep on it and think about it and let you guys know what I think tomorrow but for now I'm going to sleep and tomorrow morning I will start my third and final book which is by the book by Jasmine Guillory so that's the plan Oh God, I gotta go process. So I finished by the book by Jasmine Guillory. This was such a cute, fluffy, lighthearted romance. It really was just so wholesome. Like I said before, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I will say that like the Beauty and the Beast is like really in your face. So that would be the only thing that kind of was like, Ugh, because you know, you're like, okay, obviously it's Beauty and the Beast. But other than that, I absolutely loved what she did with the story. It was such a unique spin and like interesting way to do like an adaptation of Beauty and the Beast. So super, super cute. These are all the books that I read for the challenge. These three books were just so good. I had a great time reading these books. These were wonderful picks. Before We Were Strangers, I rated five stars. Absolutely loved this book. It was my favorite. I was obsessed with the romance in this. So loved this. Archer's Voice, I'm giving it a 4.5. It wasn't a five star for me, but it wasn't also not like four stars. So like a 4.5, I feel like is a fair place to settle with this one. And then by the book, I give this a 4.25 because it's not a four star. It's not a four and a half. Um, it was just super lighthearted and fluffy, which is the only reason why I'm not like rating it a five. There was nothing really like life changing about it, but it was a super fun read, like a really easy, lighthearted read. So if you're looking for that, you'll definitely find that in this book. So that's what I'm reading this one. I loved doing this video. I love watching other booktubers. It's so fun to read a recommendation from them and kind of just see like why they might have rated it the way that they rated it or love it as much as they love it. So I really had such a great time reading these books. That's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along this journey. I've been working on this video for a while. So you have seen like the evolutions of me over the span of a little bit of time. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. When you're not here, the sun don't shine. When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're with me. It felt like sudden.